Hi there and welcome back to this video series. Uh, we just uh, previously implemented uh, the default sorting in our car class and we did this by implementing the interface uh, comparator, comparable and also the method compare to. And in here we can define the default sorting. But it is, yeah, one would argue that it's not really that flexible because we need to go into the source code to change it. How could we make this a bit more flexible? Uh, we can see here in the sort method that we have, um, if we kind of take a list here, we can, there are two different ways that we can sort a, um, sort a list. The first one, as we're using right now, is just taking a list uh, of some kind. Um, it could be array list or link list, something like that. Uh, the other, the overloaded method here also takes a list, but it also takes something called a comparator of some unknown type. Okay, so we can actually provide uh, this object here, this comparator object, in Java. Uh, so how do we create such a comparator? Well, there are different ways to do this, and if you're using pre, before Java 8, uh, the first way, the uh, I don't know if we can say the old way, but um, before Java 8, we could make something like car comparator. Um, let's just take the brand. Okay, so we're kind of making a small class here that knows how to sort it by, uh, by the brand. And this, uh, this class here needs to implement uh, comparator car okay and we need to get the import for comparator and just like we saw before with the car it is uh, the program is angry with me because uh, I don't implement uh, the method compare and this is slightly more this is um, a little bit like like the compare too but this is called compare uh, it is doing uh, roughly the same thing as compare to. Um, so in here, let's just first implement this function here. And there is a whole lot of different ways to do this. I'm just going to take the compare there. So we have the compare method. And uh, it's an override. We take two cars. And then we, let's just remove this uh, unsupported operation exception. So how do we how do we sort this? Well, this is the brand. Okay. Uh, so this way, if we should implement this code here, we need to basically do the same as we did in the car. So we're going to return, and we we're using the the brand here. So we take O1, and then we take get brand. And then we use compare to again because we're comparing strings. And we're taking O2 and get brand. So more or less, we're doing kind of the same thing as we did down here. We're uh, we're kind of calling compare to on a specific property of the class. Uh, this uh, class here is targeted is uh, specifically made for the brand comparison, and um, this is what it does right here. Okay, so now we have the car comparator brand here, and if we go back uh, in our main method here, now we have the option of we can create car comparator brand. We can make an object, so we can make um, car sort brand um, like this. All right. So now we have our small uh, helper object that will uh, tell the program how to compare using brand. Um, so I could put it in here and we can say car sort brand. Okay. And I just want to check what the default, yeah, it was the model. Okay. So, um, so now it should sort it by the brand because we put in the the brand as a BMVP. 
yeah, Tesla. So uh, this should be all right. And for some reason, if we don't have any sorting or any uh, comparator object with us, it's gonna it's gonna default to the um, to the compare to method we made in the car class. Okay, so now we don't have any we don't have any comparator class object with us. We're just calling sort on the list and since we don't have any comparator object with us, it's just gonna go into the car. Do we have a compare to? Oh yeah, we do. It's comparing according to model. Brilliant. So it's gonna sort it to the model again. Should be, yeah. Um, so this is one way of uh, of doing it the old way, pre uh, pre Java eight, where we just make a class, a car comparator brand that implements the interface. Okay. This can be even uh, if you're using Java eight, we can optimize this, so we can um, we have something called lambda expression. I'm going to show you that in the next video, how we can do this. All right, have fun. Bye bye.